Now, another way of representing the same ideas. We had price as a bundle of uh, contingent claims. We had price as state price density or stochastic discount factor. Now I'm going to introduce risk neutral probabilities, which express the same ideas in a different way. So uh, let's define the risk neutral probability as the contingent claims price divided by the sum of all contingent claims prices, or similarly with the discount factor, or most simply of all, just uh, take the original probabilities and then weight them by the discount factor and the risk free rate. What happens if you do that? Well, if you plug this definition into our pricing formulas, you'll find that now the price can be expressed as 1 over the risk free rate times the sum of the risk neutral probabilities times the payoff. Or the expected payoff divided by the risk free rate, but I use E star because we're not using real probabilities, we're using these transformed probabilities. And by the definition here, you can see, since it's contingent claims price divided by all contingent claims prices, that the uh, risk neutral probabilities have to be between 0 and 1. And they sum up to 1 so that they are, in fact, a genuine set of possible poss probabilities, even though they're not the real probabilities. That's a gorgeous formula. <laughs> pricing, price, risk neutral pricing is very simple. Uh, and so by using these transformed probabilities, then we get to use a very simple uh, pricing formula. Another way of saying it is that these, it's a change of measure, because what we've done is we've taken the original probabilities and then multiplied them by something that changes them into a new set of probabilities that makes life look very simple. It's very intuitive as well, uh, and, and sort of deeply, uh, deeply philosophical, if you'd like. Let me expand the m into the ratio of marginal utilities, and you can see what's happening is we take the original probabilities, and then we, we give higher probability to high marginal utility states. So the risk neutral probabilities, they overweight unpleasant states of nature, where consumption is low and marginal utility is high. And that's a very intuitive way of thinking about risk aversion. People who are risk averse, pay too much attention to very unpleasant states of nature. Uh, people who worry about planes crashing, planes don't crash that often. Well, if you worry about it a lot, you're showing your risk aversion. And maybe that's a rational thing to do. When do we use risk neutral probabilities? Well, the formulas are really simple. So they're very useful when the risk premiums, when the actual probabilities don't matter that much. If you're pricing options by arbitrage, for example. So summary, in our complete market setting, we found three different ways of thinking about the discount factor and a, a deeper view of what the discount factor really is. Uh, price equals expected discounted payoff. That's what that means in a state diagram. That's the same thing as just a bundle of contingent claims. And it's the same thing as, as risk neutral pricing, pricing with these distorted set of probabilities. The stochastic discount factor is the same thing as a state price density. It's the same thing as a transformation to risk neutral probabilities. So you've learned how to express the same idea in three different ways, three different very intuitive concepts, and you know how to transform from one to the other. Given a discount factor, you can find contingent claims, you can find risk neutral probabilities, and express the problem you have uh, whichever way makes the most sense to you.